quickest way to start a fist fight among geologists is to start talking about the origin of Mount Diablo itself. Mount Diablo is much younger than all of the rocks. The Franciscan rocks range in age from 190 to 90 million years old. And there are sedimentary rocks in between during the age of mammals, the Cenozoic. But Mount Diablo itself is only about one or two million years old. And geologists always knew it was a young mountain. If you drive into Black Diamond's regional preserve, there's a bright red layer of ash. And that ash is from a volcanic eruption in Napa. It's also found on the south side of Mount Diablo. And it's been dated at about four and a half million years old. And when that stuff blew out of the volcano and the ash settled, it settled flat. And now it's tipped up. So it must have been here before Mount Diablo. That volcanic ash provides an important clue to Mount Diablo's origins. But there are more clues right where we're standing at the thrust fault sign. Well, we're standing on a Mount Diablo thrust fault. You'd guess that you're on a fault because we've been walking downhill for what seems like forever. All of a sudden, there's a level area, a break in slope. And then on the other side, we start down again. So there's a break in slope. There's an abrupt change in rock type. We'll be going from the Franciscan Melange and Franciscan into the Great Valley sequence. And if you were here after it rained, you would at this moment be up to your ankles in mud caused by the fault, the rock being ground up. Those three things are a dead giveaway. But it turns out that this fault isn't active today. It's an old fault that we see because Mount Diablo itself has been uplifted. The fault's tens of millions of years old itself. But there is a fault deep underground that is responsible for the uplift of Mount Diablo. It's a vertical fault and that fault is moving. And one side is being shoved over another. It's shoving older rock up and over younger rock. And even though it doesn't reach the surface, the surface manifestation of that fault movement deep underground is a giant upfold, an anticline, which is Mount Diablo. So the simple answer, if there is one, is Mount Diablo was formed by folding and faulting by tectonic forces that began just one or two million years ago and it's still rising today. Segment 2.1 is next. Stay here at the thrust fault sign to listen. <laughs>